Why are you talking like that? So first step here is pour the slab. We're gonna do hydronic in floor heat. Um, keep it nice and warm all winter and get it rocking. All right, so setting up the forms here. Get some rough layouts done. Put it together 12 by 16, level it off. Start putting in all the uh, mesh rebar. All that kind of jazz. All right, now the forms are roughly set up. We put a benchmark line in there. Three inches of styrofoam. Um, four inches of concrete above that. So that mark is seven inch down from our two by tens. So we'll level this off, tamp it down, start putting in the styrofoam, the wire mesh, rebar, and get ready to pour. Now that we have the forms up, we're putting in our, our shoe. The shoe is uh, the piece of wood that's set in the concrete to attach our plate of our building to when we lay out our, our design. So there's a pressure treated shoe. We're gonna put these bolts in it. They're gonna come up through like so from underneath. Pour the concrete, level it off, and get ready to attach our plates. Now I'm gonna do a check here. So what I've got is seven and three quarters of an inch. Seven and three quarters of an inch. I've uh, leveled the gravels. I used a, a board across here to set my depths down. I have three inches of styrofoam, four inches of slab, so I need about seven and a half inches. Next step is tamping the gravels and then vapor barrier, insulation, mesh, rebar, and then we're ready to pour a slab. So let's start tamping. We've got a tamp, so what I'm gonna do is recheck the, the, the distance between the top of my slab and my gravels to make sure I have enough room for four or five inches of concrete, um, three inches of styrofoam. So let's check it out. Okay. Now, I got all the bolts in the shoe. Now what these bolts do is they go into the concrete and they anchor it in, as you can see there. That goes into the concrete. Your plate comes down here, your first plate of your building, and gets held on by these bolts. Now here we're doing a six mil vapor barrier for hydronic in-floor heat. We're putting down three inches of insulation, and we're gonna leave this distance here is about four inches to four and a half. So get this set up, put on the mesh, put in the hydronic floor, and get ready for concrete. It's coming together, slowly but surely. She's a hot one. Ready for concrete tomorrow. This is the big day, the, the day of reckoning when that concrete arrives. Four yards of material for this thickened slab with hydronic in-floor heat. 10 inch thickened edge, so basically a 10 inch by 10 inch footing around the edge. Got the rebar in there double. Use the hooks to hold it up there. Cause I'm a genius. Maybe there's a little Italiano in me, maybe, you know. And there's the mesh, got the pecs all tied off. This is our uh, homemade redneck screeter. Because screeting is when you screet the concrete. I think I'm not a concrete guy, but I'm pretending to be a concrete guy. So pour tomorrow, here's the slab. Can't wait. There it is, <clears throat> the slab, day of reckoning. 
Came out beautiful with the help from uh, the truck driver who jumped right in there graciously. He's about uh, three and a half yards of concrete. So strip the forms. <clears throat> and next step is lay my plates and shoot my corners and then start framing walls. Two screws, of course. Nice. Not bad, a few air pockets. Um, not so bad though. Let's uh, get to the other ones and see how it looks. Beautiful, came out really nice. Um, very, very happy with this. <laughs> not bad. Tomorrow, plates. Corners and uh, and start building walls. Get it. Give me that apple. Give me that apple. Give me that apple. 